Hi, I'm Fez. Um, I'm th in my 30s. Um, I'm based in Lancashire. Um, I like comic books, uh, hanging out with family, friends, generally what normal people like to do, I guess. Um, so I was born with CKD. Um, so my family initially found out, because I was obviously a baby, um, but my family found out pretty much a couple of weeks after I was born. Um, and that was, I had something called reflux. Um, there is a posh or medical word. Um, but in essence, there was a blockage at my bladder. Um, so the urine wasn't emptying correctly. The urine would then build up and return back to my kidneys and that inevitably damaged my kidneys to the point where I needed further interventions. So currently, I guess on my journey, I've just, well, it's been about three years since I've had my third kidney transplant, um, which I had in July 2020. Um, previously to that, I've had two other transplants, hence this being the third. Um, so my first one was when I was three years old, um, which I have foggy memories of, if I'm totally honest. Um, and then the second one was a live donation from my father in the year 2000 on Star Wars Day. So that's kind of easier to remember. I guess it can, it is difficult and there are periods which are very difficult when you have to navigate a health system and navigate an illness that's long term. Um, there will be times um, where you can be very fatigued, um, you can be in a lots of pain, um, you can get fed up with you know having blood tests so frequently. Um, so it depends where you are, I guess, on your journey with CKD. Um, it can become very stressful, so the mental health side of things are very important to try and look after as well. Um, having a good support system, if possible, when possible, again, I believe it can be very important having peer support, other people who have been through the illness as well. Again, something that I think it's helped me a lot personally.